Hey everyone, James Reeves, TFB TV. We're here at the Lorist Show in Novi Sad, Serbia. First time for us, kind of cool. You can see that's geared towards outdoorsmen, hunters, shooters. We're here at the Zastava booth, Serbia's own. Many of you familiar with the M93, the Black Arrow made by Zastava, anti-material sniper rifle, 50 BMG. Well, now Zastava has introduced the M12 at this show, as well as the M12M, which is the compact version of what they're calling the Black Spear. Also a 50 cal sniper rifle, basically an updated version of the M93. We're going to have a look right now at the Black Spear. I'm gonna walk you through some of the features so we don't have to do a translation since I've already shot this gun and I actually already looked at it at the factory. We've got a full video coming to TFB TV later, but we're going to start with a quick walk through here at the Zastava booth of the Black Spear. The M12 Black Spear is a little bit different than the M12M, which I don't see, but we'll throw some B-roll up of it now. The M12M is the compact version of the updated M12 Black Spear. This one's the full-size version. You can see it's got the full-length barrel. The stock is much different than the M93 Black Arrow. As you can see, when you work the bolt on the Black Spear, it actually moves the cheek piece out of the way. You've got an adjustable rear monopod in the back, similar butt pad to what you have on the Black Arrow. The magazine release has been redesigned. You can see it right here. It's got like an AK style magazine release for the Black Spear. The bipod, instead of being in the middle of the gun, is more towards the front. And of course, massive muzzle brake and a slightly redesigned chassis. For the most part, it shares a lot of similarities with the M93. However, you can see it's been redesigned a little bit to give some more features and to cut the weight down quite a bit. It's going to be available in 50 cal or 12.7. It uses the same locking system as the M93. It's got a heavy barrel that Zastava says will hit a man-sized target easily at 1,800 meters. The trigger pull is adjustable. And I've got to mention that the trigger is pretty much incredible. On this one, it feels like it's two and a half or three pounds. The Picatinny rail is integrated with the receiver, so it's monolithic. The aluminum stock has a built-in buffer to reduce recoil. The M12 has a weight of 12.95 kilograms without an optic mounted. The M12 is going to be a little bit more expensive than the M93. You're looking at between seven and ten thousand dollars, which is, of course, not too bad for a 50 cal rifle. Zastava USA is looking at possibly importing these into the United States. Again, you're looking at about 20% more than the M93 if that does happen, but I think the demand's going to be there because as it stands, Zastava sells out of every M93 that comes in the country. So this is pretty neat, guys. We're gonna walk around the Loris show. We're gonna be bringing you more. Stay tuned to TFB TV Showtime.